How's it going guys? This is Fred here at UTV Obsessions. Today we're installing a charge tube and blow off valve on a Pro XP 2C 2023. So first thing I'd like to do is make sure that I have all my parts. You should have the charge tube, you should have both boots for both sides, the blow off valve, the filter, and the outerwear, and the plug for the intake tube. Alright guys, I've already taken the liberty to remove the two seats, the back paneling, and the three heat shields to get to the top of the turbo. I've also taken the liberty to remove the bed and loosen up all my clamps and the hose at the top of the factory blow off valve. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all that. You're going to have to take this clamp off so you have to pull the boot back. There's this little white clip you're gonna have to pull it back and then when you remove the clip you simply push down and pull the connector out okay, now I'll take so it. as you see I've pulled loose the intake tube now there's another tube that comes off the factory blow off valve and it goes to the back of the factory intake tube so you'll have to go to the front of the car and pull the tube loose from the intake tube Alright guys, so when you finally get this out of the car, first thing you're going to have to do is remove the sensor right out of the charge tube. So this is where you need that T25, you pull it loose, and you just pull it up and give it a little bit of a wiggle, and she'll come right on out. At this point, you don't need any more of this assembly. Alright guys, so now we're going to reassemble the new charge tube. So. This side of the charge tube goes to the turbo, and this goes to the throttle body. So, what you're going to want to do, set that up on, up on end, and then you put the sensor back in there. You just carefully push her back in and get her lined up. Now, there's two different holes that you have to line up with the corresponding hole, and then you put the Allen that is come to the kit back in and that's where you need that three millimeter allen same thing with everything else you don't really want to reef down on it you just want to give her a nice good snug the 45 goes to the back you just carefully slide her on Stop. Just like that. And then the other tube goes to the front. Just set the clamps just a little bit. That's where you need the eight millimeter. And then what I like to do is I like to leave all this stuff loose when I go to put it back in the car, just so I can clock all my hose clamps where they're easy to get to. So the blow off valve has two different ends to it. The bottom needs to go is where the plunger's at, and if you have a look there, you can see the plunger pushing. That needs to go into the charge tube. With the filter facing forward. Just like that. All right guys, so now that I've got this fish in here, you can kind of see I've moved all my hose clamps where they're nice and accessible. I don't have to fight to get them tight. I like to put all the wiring stuff underneath the charge tube, just so that way it looks nice for the customer so he sees what he bought. And then we can tighten up all the hose clamps from the charge tube 
to the throttle body and the turbo. <coughs> and once again, don't reef down on the hose clamps. You don't want to break them, you don't want to damage them. Just make them nice and tight. All right, gentlemen, so we've uh, installed all the filter and the outerwear onto the blow-off valve. So now we're going to put the blow-off valve on the charge tube. So you just have to fish her in there. Push her on there. Get your clamp rotated around. Tighten up the clamp. And then we'll take that hose that you took off the factory blow valve and goes right onto the top of the new blow valve. It's going to be a little tight, but that's okay. And then, we have to take the wire and we're going to have to route it around and plug her in. Alright guys, so I got that plugged back in. Put the cover over, back over so you don't get dirt and stuff in there. And there you go, the charge tube is installed. Now the last part is we're going to have to put that cap back on the intake tube. Now that we've got the cap, press the cap on there. It takes a little bit of effort. I get that cap pushed back on there. There you go. All right, guys. So we got the uh, charge tube and blow -off valve installed on this 23. We appreciate you guys watching the install video. Make sure you follow us on YouTube for more of these videos. We appreciate you guys watching.